Well guys, welcome to the beginning of the end. As far as I can remember, there have only ever really been two moments in my life where I have learned a new piece of information that I thought was going to have huge detrimental effects on my life. And something I learned this week was one of them. The first one was when I was like five and I learned that the sun was going to explode in a couple billion years. And look, I know that's kind of a meme, but I remember being genuinely terrified when I learned this information. Why? I'm not sure. Probably because a five-year-old doesn't really understand the concept of a billion. But the other time was this week when I learned about OpenAI's new project, Sora. Now, if you haven't heard about this yet, Sora is an AI model that is capable of creating what are basically indistinguishable from reality videos with nothing but a text prompt describing what you want to see. Every single thing you see in the background of this video is not real. The videos you are seeing were not recorded by anybody. They were not digitally created by anybody. These are all videos that OpenAI released that were created with relatively simple prompts by Sora, which is, uh terrifying. If you showed any of these videos to anybody one year ago today, they would have absolutely no reason to believe whatsoever that they were not, quote, real videos, either of real life events or real life people, or real videos that real humans have set down and made in Blender or something. There are a few moments in some of these videos where it looks a little bit weird, but honestly, I think the only reason any of us are going to pick up on that is because AI has basically overnight become such a big part of our lives that a lot of people have kind of gotten an eye for AI created stuff now, but most of these videos are completely indistinguishable from real life. These are no longer horrifying dream sequence-esque videos of Will Smith eating spaghetti that even a child could tell is not real. These are now just 100% passable as real life videos, and that is uh, honestly pretty horrifying, if you ask me. Now, according to OpenAI, this stuff is not available to the public yet. Quoting their website, they're only granting access to a number of visual artists, designers, and filmmakers to gain feedback on how to advance the model to be most helpful for creative professionals, which is uh, kind of interesting to me. And it's something I'm not sure I 100% believe because I feel like that group of people would be the least supportive of something like this. Hey guys, uh, will you test an AI model for us that is being designed to replace your job, we'd appreciate it. So who knows who actually has their hands on this stuff? Either way, I would honestly be pretty surprised if it took more than six months for either OpenAI or another company like OpenAI to start offering a subscription-based service to the public to use an AI generator like this. So um, I give it like a year before the world ends. Now look, obviously I'm being a little bit dramatic, but if you can't recognize the threat that this poses to humanity and society, you uh, might not be thinking about it enough. We are now entering into an age where photos and videos are no longer proof for anything. Now, of course, the internet has always been a place where you needed to sort of be savvy on what to believe and what not to believe. But we are now entering into an age where you will never again be able to believe anything that you don't see in real life with your own two eyes directly in front of you. Nothing you see on the internet will ever be able to be trusted again, whether it's mundane things like pictures of dogs or videos of people committing crimes, sex tapes, political figures saying this or that, you will never know what is real. I feel especially bad for the people in the public eye because obviously that's what AI is trained on the most so far. You've got Donald Trump singing I want it that way or you've got pictures of Taylor Swift all over Twitter. So they're going to be hit the hardest at first but eventually when you can easily train an AI on any person's face that you want with no technical know-how or anything. Dude, the world is going to end. Like seriously, we're going to be in such a horrible age of misinformation information, it's going to be catastrophic. Like, undoubtedly, this is going to have horrible, horrible, horrible effects on our society. Like, let's just take a look at some of these videos. Obviously, all of them are very impressive, but I think the one that took me off guard the most is this one. Okay, it's pretty short. It's only like eight seconds long, but something about this just seems absolutely insane to me. Like, the level of logic that the AI has to employ to make this, I can't even begin to understand how you get here. This is what I'm talking about. Like, even the most mundane things, you can't trust them. The only thing I see that's off in this video is that when you see the woman in the reflection, logically, she should probably be recording this with her iPhone, since this sort of seems to be from her point of view. But even then, you could just write that off as this is some advanced camera trick that you would see in a movie. This is insane to me. Another one that I found very visually impressive is this one, this sort of like sci-fi movie scene. It's just crazy to me that 
that this is fake. Like, obviously, it's real. It exists. But this was not filmed. All this is is plugging into an AI, a prompt that reads, a movie trailer featuring the adventures of a 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red, wool-knitted motorcycle helmet, blue sky, salt desert cinematic style, shot on 35 millimeter film, vivid colors. And that's exactly what this looks like. I mean, can you imagine in like five years when this technology is completely out in the open, there's no sort of barrier to entry anymore? You can download an app on your iPhone that does exactly this as long as you're willing to watch a Candy Crush ad between every generation, and somebody makes the silly mistake of cutting you off in traffic, or leaving a nasty comment under one of your Instagram pictures. Or maybe you just don't like them, so what do you do? You take a secret picture of them, or you screenshot a few pictures from their Facebook profile. You train an AI to recognize their face, and then you go onto your phone, open up your app, and you type in grainy 480p CCTV type footage of this man robbing a bank and shooting 17 people. As he's exiting the bank, he takes off his ski mask, and he accidentally looks directly into one of the security cameras. And then you send that bad boy to the police. Or, what about an opposite kind of situation? Somebody does break into your house, they shoot your dog, and they steal your TV. You catch it all on your home security camera. And then the lawyer gets it dismissed because, hey judge, this security footage looks like AI to me. They call in some sort of AI expert, and he says, yeah, this very well could be AI footage. And guess what? You're cooked. Your dog's dead, and your TV's gone. This is the future we're heading into, guys. This is not an exaggeration. I can't imagine it is. This is going to be our reality pretty soon. And don't even get me started on what this is going to do to people over 55 or 60. Do you guys remember the trend a couple of months ago where people were showing their grandparents and their parents GTA 5 footage and telling them it was real life and they believed it? As a quick reminder, this is what GTA 5 looks like. I'm on Facebook a lot because I'm addicted to Facebook Marketplace and the amount of posts I've seen of obvious AI generated images that thousands of people fall for and think are real is insane to me. Can you imagine all the scams, all the crazy things that are going to start happening to our older generation when even people who are in the know can't tell it's AI anymore? Somebody's going to send your lonely grandma an indistinguishable from reality video of Brad Pitt addressing her by her full legal name, asking for her most recent social security check. And you know what? She's going to send it. That's actually pretty close to my retirement plan. What I plan on doing once this technology is fully available. I'm going to go around nursing homes on grandkids day, train an AI on a few faces here and there, and then start sending out fake ransom videos demanding 401ks. I'm going to make a killing. Does that sound awful? Yeah, it does. And it's probably going to start happening not too far in the future. I know there's going to be a lot of people in the comments section who are not on my side here. And I'd imagine those people can fall into one of two groups. One, they're tech bros, Elon Musk fanboys, if you will. Or two, they're people who just don't take this stuff seriously. For the first group of people, I'm not really sure there's a whole lot I can say. There seems to be a recent surge of people who think that there is nothing more important in the entire world than advancing technology as far as it can go in as little time as possible. And that anything besides that is pointless. Art is pointless. Music is pointless. Any sort of self-expression that you can really call your own is pointless. If it can be done by a computer, it's cooler and it's better. And that's honestly the way a lot of people think right now, which is terrifying. This group of people is somehow able to completely ignore that all of this AI has been trained on the hard work and passion of real people. And that if all of that goes away, if all of that is replaced by AI, then eventually all you're going to have to train your AI on is stuff created by old AI. And I would imagine it would become pretty circular pretty soon. I just don't really understand how people are so willing to throw away or make obsolete human creativity. It's absurd. And then to address the second group of people, the people who don't think this is going to be a big problem, I'm honestly even more lost on how to address that mindset because how could you possibly have it? I mean, seriously, what part of this technology does not seem world altering to you? Obviously, with this topic of AI, most of the things we're seeing have to do with creative minded things. Like right now, Sora is breaking the internet because it's able to create these videos that would normally take the efforts of dozens of people or hundreds of man hours. And you've got to think about what's going to happen to those dozens of people and those hundreds of billable man hours when stuff like this is mainstream. And a lot of people, as long as they're not an artist or a filmmaker or something of that nature, they're not going to care about this. But what a lot of people are forgetting, I guess, is that this kind of technology is not going to be limited to the creative sector. If you don't have a highly specialized job, you should be worried. Can you honestly tell me that a computer that's trained on a few thousand hours of your job can't do it better than you? Are you confident in that? Because if not, right around now is where you should probably start getting nervous. If a corporation is given the option to dump a few billion dollars into training AI employees that do your job better and
and make you obsolete, they're gonna do it. The first few are gonna be hesitant, sure, they're not gonna wanna be the first ones to do it, because it's probably not gonna be a very good look, but once a few companies do it, once it starts to get accepted, your job is gone, and that day is coming. Well guys, really motivating, uplifting video today, I know I had a great time making it. I'm sure you're feeling really great about yourself after watching it. What do you guys think, over or under five years before the world just completely falls apart? I'm really looking forward to the government starting to take this seriously because at least in America, whichever party brings it up as an issue, the other party is just gonna go against them because, well, that's just how America works. So the issue of AI will be a forever stalemate and nothing will ever be done about it. And then the robots will take over, it'll be too late, and then nothing will matter anymore. So I uh, guess we've got that to look forward to. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.